Good day, my people. Welcome to Mathematics Olympia class. Uh, we shall quickly go into our last exercise. Uh, we have three questions to be considered. Question number one says 4 raised to power 3 into bracket raised to power 2 all over 4 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 equals 2 raised to power x. So we are to find the value of x. Now question number 2. 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x equals square root of 18. We are to find the value of x as well. Question number 3. 27 raised to power x equals 1 over x. Find the value of x. So now, to simplify the first question, which is 4 raised to power 3 into bracket raised to power 2 all over 4 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 equals 2 raised to power x. The first thing we are going to do here is to multiply the power in the numerator. That is, the 4 raised to power 3 into bracket raised to power 2, the power there 3 is multiplying the power 2. So, 3 times 2 is 6. So, the numerator is now 4 raised to power 6. Then, over the base now is 4 raised to, I mean, the denominator is 4 raised to power 3 raised to power 2. The 3 raised to power 2 there means 3 squared. That's 3 times 3. That is 9. So, the denominator becomes 4 raised to power 9. So we now have 4 raised to power 6 over 4 raised to power 9 equals 2 raised to power x. The difference between the numerator here in this question number 1 and the denominator is that the numerator is having brackets, why the denominator is not having brackets, and that's why they will give us different uh, outcome, different solution. So now here we have 4 raised to power 6 over 4 raised to power 9 equals 2 raised to power x. If we use the law of exponent, that's 6. If a raised to power n over a raised to power m equals a raised to power n minus m. Then we have, since we have the same base 4, we pick one of the bases 4. Then the division changes to minus, so we have we subtract the powers so we have 4 raised to power 6 minus 9 equals 2 raised to power x Yes, from here we have 6 minus 9, that is if we subtract the powers, we have 6 minus 9, it will give us negative 3, that's minus 3. So we have 4 raised to power minus 3 equals 2 raised to power x. Thank you. 
then from here we can simplify the four the base four further by changing it to two raised to power two two raised to power two is the same thing as four so we have two raised to power two and it's having power minus three before so we have two raised to power two into brackets or multiply power minus three equals two raised to power x so if you multiply the two powers the two and the minus three two times minus three will give us minus six so we have two raised to power minus six equals two raised to power x Now, it then follows that since we have 2 raised to power minus 6 equals 2 raised to power x, we have the same base here, base 2 and base 2. So, according to the law of exponent, when the base are the same and you have equal sign in between them, you can cancel out the, you can equate the powers. So, it means x equals minus 6 because if you cancel out the 2 and 2 then you have the power to be equated so you have x equals minus 6 and that's the value of our x for this question number 1 Now we have question number two, and uh, question number two goes thus. If 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x equals square root of 18, we have to find the value of x. The first thing we are going to do here is we have 3 raised to power x, 1, another 3 raised to power x, 2, so we have 3 raised to power x in two places. So we can factor out that 2 and then bring 3 raised to power x into bracket equals square root of 9 times 2. 9 times 2 is the same thing as 18. So square root of 9 times 2. Then we have 2 raised to power, I mean 2 into bracket, 3 raised to power x, close the bracket, equals square root of 9 times square root of 2. That is, we separated the square root so that we have square root of 9 separate and square root of 2 separate multiplying each other. From here, we have 2 raised to 2 into bracket 3 raised to power x, close the bracket, equals square root of 9 times square root of 2. Square root of 9 is 3. So we have 2 multiply 3 raised to power x equals 3 times square root of 2. Now if we square through, square everything that we have here, you square 2, that will be 2 squared. You square 3 raised to power x, that will be 3 raised to power x squared. Then you squ equals, you square 3, that will be 3 squared, multiplied by squared square root of 2. That is square root of 2 squared.
so it then follows that from the last step when we, which where we have two squared multiply three raised to the power x squared equals three squared multiply square root of two squared now two squared is four two times two four multiply by three raised to the power x squared will give us three raised to the power two x that is the x the power will multiply the two the power as well so it become three raised to the power two x then equals three squared is nine three times three nine that is three in two places then multiply by the square root on two we cancel out this square so we have two left then from there we have four times 3 raised to power 2x equals 9 times 2 is 18. So we have 4 times 3 raised to power 2x equals 18. We can then simplify further from here. That is 4 times 3 raised to the power 2x equals 18. We divide both sides by 4 or we divide through by 4. Now we divide both sides by 4. The 4 there is like the coefficient of 3 raised to the power 2x. So the 4 there will cancel out the 4. What we have is 4 times 3 raised to the power 2x over 4 equals 18 over 4. So the 4 will cancel out the 4 at the left side. It will remain 3 raised to the power 2x equals 18 over 4. Now we can still simplify further. From 3 raised to the power 2x equals 18 over 4, we can separate the power 2 and x. So we have the, we want to push out the x outside. So we have 3 raised to the power 2, then raised to the power x equals 18 over 4. 3 raised to the power 2 is 9, that is 3 in 2 places, 3 times 3, 9. Then we have 9 raised to the power x equals 18 over 4. Now from here we have 9 raised to power x equals 18 over 4. We can divide 18 and 4 by 2. So if we divide 18 by 2, we have 9. And we divide 4 by 2, we have 2. So we have 9 raised to power x equals 9 over 2. So we have 9 raised to the power x equals 9 over 2. We can take the log of both sides. We have log 9 raised to the power x equals log 9 over 2. Then the x as the power of 9 there will now go as the coefficient of the log. We become the coefficient of the log. So we have the x log 9 equals log 9 over 2.
so from here we can divide both sides by log 9 so we have x log 9 over log 9 equals log 9 over 2 over log 9 log 9 cancel log 9 at the left side we have x equal log 9 over 2 over log 9 Now, if we simplify the log 9 over 2, 9 divided by 2, we give us 4.5. So, we have x equals log 4.5 over log 9. Log 4.5 is 0 0.6532125 and so on. Over log 9 is 0 0.954242 and so on. So, that's our x for now. Now simplify this value now, we have x equals 0 0.6845, that is after we've divided x equals 0 0.6845. So the third question goes thus, 27 raised to power x equals 1 over x, we have to find the value of x. The first thing we are going to do here is to multiply both powers by 1 over x. So if you multiply 27, this becomes 27 raised to power x multiplied by 1 over x equals 1 over x raised to power 1 over x. Then the x will cancel out the 1 over x. So we have 27 equals 1 over x raised to the power 1 over x. Now we simplify 27 for that. 27 is the same thing as 3 raised to power 3, which equals 1 over x raised to power 1 over x. Now since we have 3 raised to power 3 and the other side is also 1 over x raised to power 1 over x, we can just equate the power, that is, or equate the base. Since both sides are having the same base is equal to the power, 3 over 3, I mean 3 raised to power 3 equals 1 over x raised to power 1 over x. From there, we can equate the power or equate the base. So, if you equate the power or the base, we have 3 equals 1 over x. So, if you cross multiply, we have 3x equals 1. Then, if you divide by the coefficient of x, which is 3, divide both sides, we have x equals 1 over 3. So our exercise for the next class, we have two questions here. Question number one, if 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 equals 2 raised to, 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 into bracket raised to power x, we have to find x. Question number two, we have 2x, 2 raised to power x minus 2 raised to power y equals 1. 
Then 4 raised to the power x minus 4 raised to the power y equals 5 over 3. We have to find the value of x minus y. So till we meet next class, uh, so don't forget to subscribe, to click the notification button, and to like the video and to share the video with your friend. Thank you very much. Till we meet next class.